Hello and welcome to another episode of Hunting with Pratsy. Okay guys, we are on the tracks of the bison actually and um, it looks like we are running into a, to a moose here. Female moose. Yeah, there she comes. And um, let's just take the opportunity. Oh, she's gonna charge. Wow, that was a bad shot, I reckon. Let's check it out. Ah, oh, that's intestines. That's uh, that's okay. So yeah, it's actually early in the morning here. Six for the uh, fifty-five. And um, speaking of the new reserve, this is so beautiful. Um, you might have seen my. Um, the trailer that I've done for the live stream. Guys, I really, I must say this is, wow, this is just wow. Um, actually, I do want to take her out of her misery, so. Let's put the 4570 to test one more time. Whoa, that was a bad angle. Okay, there we got her. Oh, not so good. But it's also worth mentioning with this new uh, weapon that um, the gun wobble and swaying is quite heavy with this one um, so um, it's uh, al always a good idea to uh, try to level this up as fast as you can okay guys and here she is um, not a big deal just showing you how I collect her um, yeah, bad shot. Yeah, got the intestine, stomach, and the stomach again, but also the liver. Yeah, mm. not not good shooting. But since we're here, I thought actually I'd show you this beautiful um, lake here. And um, if you listen to the sounds I think it's so realistic and it feels so cold to walk over this frozen lake here and also the reflections here on this lake Act well, actually this leads to the next awesome update this is actually another moose that I shot <laughs> Just forgot to hit the record button, so yeah, let's just uh, collect that one as well. Another really big update was um, the whole lighting. Um, they've done something that they took from the Hunter Primal that they developed there. Um, to yeah, it's basically a graphics update which um, makes the lighting that hits the ground much better and I really think it's it's awesome some people say that um, the other reserves look not as good in some parts since that update but I still have to check that out myself uh, I think here for White Rhyme Ridge um, it's just awesome uh, and of course um, what else is new? Yeah, weather um, effects actually. So um, 
it does actually affect you as a player this cold weather so as you could see at the start I'm really wearing super warm clothing and um, if I wasn't wearing it um, I would I would run into problems of um, getting too cold and actually dying from it there's another bison wow this is female so don't know if she's still nervous from the shooting but actually we might get in a long range shot let's just try it guys yeah got it in good I think that was a nice hit and um, as I said before it's not so easy to drop a bison even with this um, new rifle I think she's down already. Yeah, there she is. So, um, just to show you one more time on the map where we are. This down here, this valley, or this... Um, yeah, how can I say it? Just this area down here is really good for hunting bison. Also lots of moose. Maybe, for my taste, even too many of them. Uh, you find hair here and there <laughs> and um, yeah but overall this is just great for hunting bison uh, it's um, and I really like it that it's um, completely different to the northern part of this new reserve which we will also visit in this or the next episode because <laughs> Actually, we only hunted one of the four new species um, so far in this hunt. And I'm planning on hunting all four of them together with you guys. So I'm not running to pick up this one. Because um, from all the experience with uh, herding animals... We know there might be more around the corner. And um, with the bison, it's a bit like... Um, it's a bit like with moose. They don't seem to flee too very, very far. So... There's a good chance that we run into more bison of the same group as this one was. So that was a long, hard blood trail. And yeah, we got both lungs. It was a perfect shot. Really happy with that. Score, of course, female uh, 51.413. Let's uh, skip the trophy shot for that one. And uh, I will be back with you guys when we get the next animals. Okay, guys, this is where we picked up the... M wow. Right there is actually a bison and... Uh-oh. Oh. I think he saw me. That moose saw me. Okay. He went. Also new, as you could hear, the character sounds of breathing and... Um, I think it's it's much better now. It used to be really annoying. And now I think it's it's quieter and better. Okay, let's go for a let's go for a bow kill. I could actually bet that this is also a female. 
Yeah, so it's part of that same group. Um, she might be uh, catching up with... Um, oh, that's actually good range. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's gonna charge. Okay, I hit her. But I'm sure that was a bad hit, so... Let's stop her in her tracks. Yes! That was a good one. Woo! I love the excitement with hunting bison. <laughs> you could see it. I mean, we have been... 30 meters away from her. Actually, the bow shot was also pretty good. It had um, intestines. So she would have gone down... Uh, quite fast, but anyway... We took the follow-up shot, and um, here we go, fourth bison, and this is a good female with a score of 91.791, and actually it was a hard shot, that, that second shot, <laughs> left lung and hard, so quite happy with that. Uh, we might look at it in a slow motion. Um, I was actually quite sure that I was um, packing um, tracer flare ammunition, but I can't remember seeing the arrow go. So maybe I just forgot about it or didn't really pay attention because it went so fast. And uh, here's your trophy shot. It's so much fun to hunt uh, bison. Uh, I'm admitting it's not the hardest thing to do. I mean, they don't spook easily. They don't... Um, yeah, they are not hard to see against the white snow. But as you could see, um, you can really take it as a challenge and go bow hunting for them. Uh, actually, also great news or great information is that um, the initial plans of um, the developer team to not allow the recurve bow for bison was actually reversed after they um, heard your guys or you guys feedback after it was mentioned in the pre-release livestream, I guess. At least that's what I think happened. So, yeah, it's possible to hunt these with the recurve bow, which should be the ultimate um, challenge. Uh, I'm quite sure I'm gonna make a video about that as well in the future. All right, I think I think we covered the south part of this map pretty well and um, so I will see you in the north for some arctic foxes and snow hare and actually also the sitcar deer maybe we could also stay down here f to find some sitka in this area here um, yeah, let's do that. Let's fast travel to that lodge and um, let's see if we can get some Sitka from here. So, see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I've just got a call from a Sitka deer. And um, yeah, that's what I was hoping for. 
um, just look at the awesome colors on the sky ah, this is a beautiful beautiful reserve and um, yeah can't stop myself talking about how beautiful this is uh, oh and there it is is this a buck actually um as Forstheld was actually very nicely explaining in the German pre-release live stream, he told us that um, the Sitka deer is actually uh, it's like a it's it's a subspecies. I don't know if it's the right term in English, but it's a subspecies from the black-tailed deer that is um, yeah just um, you know in appearance and. Um, everything about it it is um, yeah made or improved to uh, to stay alive and uh, exist in the cold uh, Arctic environment so they are a little bit smaller they don't score as you know they don't score nearly as high as a top black tail buck so from what I've heard um, if you score one in in the 80th 80 90 I think should be max for them or pretty good at least but you know I still love it that they put a a new deer, uh, deer species into this reserve because for me hunting deer is pretty much the heart of hunting and a, a, a great perfect map needs to have a deer species so I'm really happy for this even though it is basically just a reskin and um, uh, an adjustment of the antlers to the black tail deer that we know so we got lucky there is a buck and um, let's call him in and shoot him or try to get him with the bow maybe actually just in case let me switch to the uh, Unschutz 8x57 because it is not ethical to shoot it with the 4570, of course. That is just too massive of a caliber for such small animals. Uh, where was it? There. So I think I will wait it out now until he is in range and then I'll get you guys back with me. Yeah. 